Um, the next question is, Blue Ink Productions, do you think you will still Let's Play videos if you got married? Um, I think if I uh, got married, uh, my wife would not let me not continue making Let's Play videos at least every once in a while, because uh, I think Sidra Wing would be very interested in seeing me do uh, more footage from time to time. Um, the FMC asks, if someone sent you a console or a game with a note saying, I want you to LP this game as soon as possible, would you? Um, yes, uh, I'm almost certain I would. Uh, the one thing is, I would need to get a USB cord extension, and I would have to use this thing to record. Um, or you could get me a uh, video capture card as well. That might get kind of complicated because I have this monitor. Oh, it might work. I, I, I would have to do some figuring out to how to get it record quite well. But, uh, yeah, in, in essence, the answer is yes. Uh, Fat Man Twin asks, do you like people getting inspired by you to be Let's Players, or do you consider them more competition? Um, almost every single time, I'm happy that uh, people get inspired by Let's Players, but every once in a while when FMC would say things like, um, it's only a matter of time before I'm a bigger LPer than you. That kind of bothered me, that that was sort of his goal, was to one-up me, even though he's had a lot of trouble. It, it kind of made me feel like he was just trying to be competition, in a way. But um, other than that, um, I like that people get inspired. I kind of get sad when I see that the people that get inspired are really kind of not doing very well, but... Um, Fat Man Twin also asks, your house has changed a lot since your first webcam post. How many different states have you lived in? Um, I lived in uh, Colorado when I was between one and two, but um, uh, the rest of the time I've lived in California. And um, the reason you keep seeing different houses is because I keep moving to different houses. I've In the past year I've lived at four different residences. Um, and what is... It's just that they're all in California. California is a really big state. Um, Titan Jack asks, "Why do you walk past everything you're meant to be doing and grabbing the most useless object?" Um, well, the reason, the reason for, hold on, shiny object. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I get distracted. <laughs> that's, the end. that's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Titan Jack also asks, do you think that quick saving loading turns the audience off of the LP? I think if it's overused, it does. But a couple things, I mean, the only time I've ever really done the quick saving and quick loading is on Fallout 3. And originally I was saying that I was playing Fallout 3 for me, because this is just a game that I really wanted to do. But somehow you guys convinced me and uh, convinced me that I shouldn't quick so save and load for you guys, even though I was playing Fallout 3 for me. Um, I don't know how you guys convinced me of that. Maybe I'm just not as much willpower as I thought. Um, and the other reason I did the quick saving and quick loading that I guess nobody understood was I was learning the game. I was wanting to redo events to see what worked better. And uh, quick save and quick loading gives you that because you're in, put in the exact same situation. And so What's nice is I haven't really needed to do a lot of quick saving, quick loading lately, because I end up uh, I ended up knowing what a lot of the best methods to get through a fight is. So uh, the next question is from Fool Fear. Uh, so according to your logic, on the matter of other people's let's plays, they should just spend heaps. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I said I was going to answer it here too. They should spend heaps of money before they even commit themselves to it. What if they want to back out? What if they've just wasted possibly hundreds of dollars trying to get high quality equipment? Um, I'm saying that you should. G I mean, there's equipment out there that you get, like a powerful computer, um, that you would get not for the purpose of doing LPs, just for the purpose of having a powerful computer. Now, I know that there are certain things, like uh, capture cards especially, um, that you'd have to buy specifically knowing that uh, you were wanting to do Let's Plays. And so that's a kind of an exception to that. If um, you have everything else that you sort of need um, already set up, except for the capture card or except for whatever small details are needed for doing Let's Plays, um, I think that, yeah, 
at that point buying the equipment that would only be specifically for Let's Plays uh, is fine. But uh, I just don't like the idea of people trying to start out Let's Plays and then coming up to the realization that they need to purchase a whole lot of stuff. Um, I think that that sort of gives them a false sense of hope. And uh, it's kind of sad to see that. Um, because if you have a computer that can't handle recording footage, which is really intensive, you need to have three times, uh, at least three times the frames per second uh, in a game than you expect to record at, at least. You, it, sometimes it's as much as like 90% of your frames per second goes into the recording, and 10% actually ends up being in your game. So you'll, if you want 30 frames per second, you need 300 uh, without recording. It's really pretty intensive. Um, uh, Zaklon, uh, 17 asks, what do you like most out of Lord of the Rings or Star Wars? Um, uh, if you're asking me between the two, I think I like Star Wars better than Lord of the Rings. And if you're talking about uh, each, what do I like most about Lord of the Rings? Um, th I think that there's kind of a cool, interesting nature behind the whole elven existence, and it's just kind of interesting. I just find it quite, and the whole tree, forest, city thing was really quite amazing, just kind of an experience that sort of thing. Um, and the whole th thoughts of immortality, and it's just kind of interesting. Um, with Star Wars, um, it's going to sound doofy, but I really like lightsaber battles, so that's what I like on that, for the most part. Um, <laughs> I guess that's like, why is that doofy? That's so awesome! Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Uh, Mad Dude Guy 2600 asks if you could be any video game character, who would you be and why? Um, I'm thinking, I don't remember her name, but the character from uh, X Blades because she's a hottie, and um, yeah, I would be total lesbian, but yeah. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> Mad Dude Guy 2600 also asks. You say you only play re uh, underrated games, so why are you doing a LPS of Fallout 3? There's two reasons for it. Um, I only do walkthroughs of underrated games, uh, or I try to. It, randomly, I might select a game that's not very underrated. Um, and also, Fallout 3, a lot of the reason why I do new releases is because there's a lot of people out there that are curious. They're like, is this something I want? So I'm sort of trying to be helpful in giving them games that they may or may not like by showing them both new game releases that they haven't decided on yet or games, older games that they've never heard of that they might like. So it's always my goal to try and show them things that they might want to play themselves. Um, Surfer Mario asks, if you were in a fight with Godzilla, would you fight him as a pirate or a ninja? I would probably actually fight him as a pirate, even though I think ninjas are way cooler. Um, but pirates have explosives, and so that would make me a lot more likely to be able to defeat Godzilla. If I was a ninja, I'd just be at his toes, slashing back and forth, and eventually get killed. <laughs> um, Lethoria asks, hey, I have a simple question, but not dumb. Uh, do you hate it when people give you advice on a game, or do you like it when people do? I like it when people give me advice. I do not like it when people tell me what to do. There's a difference. And that difference is whether I like it or not. Um, I've tried to give you advice, but I don't want to get on your nerves like you've given me something I love to watch and showed me some awesome games along the way. So please answer if you have some time. Thanks. So, yeah, you, uh, if you are always like this might work out better for you instead of why do you do it that way you stupid moron it's so much better if you do that that's the difference so if you're just if you just if you make it an offering instead of a demand i will never get tired of your advice unless you're like spam oriented where you're just repeating the advice over and over again every time i don't take it it's kind of common sense sort of thing <laughs> 